he, for him, he's a, he's a type of fighter that is going to go there and, and try, to, try to take something back from me. Um, but for me, it's just a momentum changing for me. So, so we can get the ball rolling for myself. Why do you think it's taking us long? You know, there's there's a lot of things, negotiation, promoters, networks, or whatever it may be. You know, there's a lot of things that goes on behind the scene that fighters don't really know about. So, you know, but I'm just blessed to, to even just be in the ring. You mentioned that Sarchanian doesn't really care for you too much. Do you dislike him? I don't no, it's the other way around. I don't care too much for him. He's the one that cares so much about what I do, what I eat, anything that I do. You know, because in 2007, I took everything from him. I took his, his title. I took his undefeated record. I knocked him out where he was never down in his life. You know, and, um, and I exposed him. So everything that I am, he wants to make me feel the pain that he has felt throughout the time that I took it from him. Does that make him any more dangerous? Oh, well, that makes him a lot more dangerous. You know, when, when you have somebody who's, who's, who has a grudge, it will give everything from his, from, from his very being. He'll put in that ring, you know. He'd rather die than, 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 than see himself lose again, you know. So that's, that's what makes him the most dangerous fighter. As far as skills-wise, have you followed him at all since that fight? No, I mean, I'm here, I, I hear things in here and there, you know, that he's won and stuff like that, but I didn't really follow his history much. So you don't know if he's gotten better? Well, we look back now that we're studying him. Of course, he's gotten better, but at the same time, he's gotten, you know, like in life, you, when you gain something, you lose something as well. Um, so for, for me, I see that, that you know, he, he's gained a lot of experience, but at the same time, he's, he's lost a lot of speed, but he still um, has the power. Where have you progressed since that fight in 07? Well, I've, I've, I went beyond him. I went beyond that. You know, I, I went beyond that where I was recognized by most boxing fighters in the world that I was top elite fighter in the boxing world. So um, we're trying to bring that back. How much maybe extra motivation do you have coming off that loss? Well, there is definitely a lot of motivation. You know, it's just more of um, motivated to be better to be stronger and motivated to uh, to keep winning. Do you make predictions on any fights? Um, no, I don't make any, any predictions on any fight. I just go out there and, and just see how I think it's going to be. What do you anticipate in this fight? Uh, what do you like to do? Well, I expect everything from him, from dirty tricks to anything, you know. So that's what happens when a man is... is, is is willing to do anything for for uh, to win, and he's willing to do anything. So I, I don't I don't cross out anything that that you know that can help you to win, like like uh, you know like dirty tactics or anything like that. I mean, not that I'm, I'm not I'm saying that that he will be dirty, but I'm not counting. You know, I'm not closing that the fact that it might happen. Um, but you know, he's willing to do anything, and, and you know, his power against my power will see who's stronger. That's all I have for you. Thank Appreciate you. you very much. Yeah.